And what great sports to talk about. The popularity of women's basketball has grown by leaps and bounds, and a lot of that has to do with the Iowa Hawkeyes and Caitlin Clark. Did she have any sort of predecessor? Well, in a way she did. KCRG TV 9's John Campbell reminds us of the poster child of Women's Basketball League. There's no question that Caitlin Clark is the face of college women's basketball, maybe all of college basketball. But there was another Iowa girl who was momentarily the face of women's professional basketball. Number 30, Molly Bolin, also known as Machine Gun Molly, was the star of the Iowa Cornets, a team that played in both Des Moines and Cedar Rapids in 1979 and 1980. Like Clark, Bolin could score almost at will. She averaged 34 points per game and holds the WBL single game mark of 55 points. The league decided to make her the face of their game. I've got two different poses coming out. One's in uniform and one's in tank top and shorts. And, and I, I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out and I just hope, you know, the people like them. This is really a test market for us, so, you know, we just hope they go over okay. Bolin shared league MVP honors with Ann Myers of the New Jersey Gems. And although she and the Cornets played for the league title in 79 and 1980, they came up short both times. Next year, third time's a charm. I know we'll be back um, with the basic team that we have this year. We'll have a few more coming in. I think we'll be a lot better next year. The league will be better. Everything's going to get bigger and better next year. There would not be a next year for Bolin, the Cornets, nor the league. The WBL folded. And although memories of the early days of women's professional basketball may be faint, it's hard to forget a player named Machine Gun Molly Bolin. John Campbell, TV9 Sports. Now, Molly Bolin was actually in Dallas last year when the Hawks defeated South Carolina in the Final Four. And the Hawks play the Yukon Huskies Friday night in the Final Four this year. Tip-off 8.30. The game is covered on ESPN.